Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today I'm bringing you another Forzathon guide which is where I'll show you guys the quickest and easiest ways to complete this week's Forzathon challenges. Now this week's one called Swords to Plowshares wants you to use any vans and utility vehicle to complete all of the challenges. Now first of all I just want to say make sure that you pick a fast van or utility vehicle uh, you will definitely need it for the last challenge. So here you can see the choice of vehicles I have to pick from obviously yours will be slightly different when you go into the garage now I use my 2014 HSV Maloo as it's probably one of the best tunable ones and you can get a massive top speed out of it so I've got a tune here the share code is 141939152 and this Maloo is pushing 1500 brake horsepower and I'll tell you why you need that at the end now the first challenge here is really really simple it's more of a task it just wants you to drive 13.1 miles which isn't that far at all now to do a challenge like this i just head to the motorway and just drive as fast as possible for as long as i need to so it'll probably take you about two to three full lengths of the motorway to complete this challenge but this maloo will sit at about 240 mile an hour plus without any breaking a sweat so to speak so it's a really quick task to complete like i said it's not so much a challenge it's just something to do before you can get on to the next challenge uh, and talking of which the second challenge just wants you to earn five thread in the needle skills now for those of you who aren't aware a thread in a needle is basically driving in between two other vehicles whether it's ai or people online so you've obviously got to do it fairly quickly it's not too difficult to be fair now they don't necessarily have to be side by side the equivalent is basically two near miss skills very very quick succession so the car could be slightly ahead of the other one that you weave in in and out of or they can literally be next to each other or slightly ahead whatever the case is now you don't want to be doing it too slow obviously otherwise it won't count and you won't pop up with the first two near miss skills so you want to be doing a decent speed at least 80 mile an hour plus but to complete it is super super simple and what i recommend doing is going into horizon solo mode instead of being online as there's a ton more ai vehicles to do it with and doing it on the motorway where you completed your first challenge as well as that's got a denser population of ai vehicles now if you're struggling with any of this or finding it hard to do just drop me a sort of comment down below and i'll try and help you out as best as i can but the principle to this challenge is just weaving in between two cars sort of getting a near miss skill between them and then it will pop up with a thread and a needle skill as you can see that's been popping up on the screen super super easy second challenge to do that now the final challenge here wants you to land a three star jump at the rail yard ramp danger sign now this is why i said you need something particularly powerful and quick first of all we'll show you the location of the danger sign so of course it is at the rail yard at the top of the map and to complete three stars on here you need to hit a total of 700 feet now i'd recommend getting a decent run up as you can see where i am there at the very back and it's sort of almost head on to the jump so you want to avoid the lamp posts and then when you've taken that mini jump before the danger sign you want to avoid hitting the benches because they will knock your speed down so you want to hit the jump at around 140 mile an hour very minimum of 135 uh, in order to get a decent distance and obviously your minimum of 700 feet now you have to get three stars in one hit otherwise the challenge won't count but like i said as long as you're taking it with a decent run up and obviously you sort of avoid all the obstacles in the way hit the jump at at least 135 140 mile an hour you should be good now certain vans or utility vehicles won't be tunable enough to sort of hit that speed because you've got to remember you're on a pretty dodgy road surface as well it's quite bumpy and off-roady so you'll need something that's either incredibly powerful that will pick up speed quickly or fairly good off-road as well as being quick but like i said i use this hsv maloo and it hit over 700 feet every time i tried it which is about three or four times so it's actually fairly easy but again if you're struggling with anything just let me know down below in the comments apart from that folks i hope this video did help you out if it did and you're new to the channel i would very much appreciate if you could subscribe and if it did help you out, don't forget to drop a like as well. Apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.